When the game is on the line and you badly need a defensive stop, just insert this dude into the lineup. Here's what I mean. Yeah, they're switching everything. No screens work. Levert on GP2. Down to four. Lost the handle! Gary Payton II has been a lockdown pest for the Dubs this season, and he's become the poster boy of the Dubs D with steals like these. Get past to Halliburton, and there's Payton with a steal. Gallo's going to head down the lane and pick. Before his breakout season this year, this was a guy who just appeared in 94 games over the last six seasons, going back and forth from the G League to the NBA. Back then, the young glove was like a hot potato that nobody wanted for the team. But now, it's a totally different story, and everyone is on his grill as if he's some kind of hot commodity. Two guys. To get a hold of his transition from being just a regular rotation guy to becoming a vital piece in the Dubs 2022 championship lineup, let's crunch the numbers to see how this guy went from zero to hero. As you can see from the table here, his numbers weren't that eye-popping. I mean, he averaged below seven points a ball game his whole career. But if you look a little more in depth and go beyond the surface, you're gonna be surprised. For example, looking at his numbers based on the per 36 minute stat line, you'd see that the young glove is incredibly efficient and effective. Per 36 minutes of ball game, GP2 is averaging about 16 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 3.1 steals while shooting beyond 80% from within the arc and 41% from downtown. Now guys, these are some absurd numbers, and if I'm Steph Curry or Draymond Green, I'm thanking the front office that they didn't sign Avery Bradley instead. Anyway, to have a more in-depth focus on the game of GP2, let's review some of his highlight reels to see how he makes an impact on both ends of the floor. It's pretty clear in this play that GP2 is giving up several inches over the much taller Dosen move. Knowing that he'll have a hard time fighting him when he's above the ground, GP2 uses quickness when the ball was still on the deck, and it resulted in back-to-back -back swipes, which led to a fast break for the Dubs on the other end. Vucevic is an important part of what they do on the offensive end because it creates a lot of space and he's also... Another thing that is underrated about his game is his hustle. Most guards would just casually stroll back to the other end after a missed shot. But check out GP2 right here. After Damian Lee missed his shot, the young glove slowly crept out of the corner and despite standing only at 6'3", he was able to grab the offensive board and stick up a putback. Curry, over to Lee, sets his feet, and way off, look who's there. The phrase they're now using for Peyton's explosiveness is lightning in the legs. With almost a quarter of the season now in the books, the Dubs are still leading the pack in terms of defensive rating, and there's no doubt that the young glove has his fingerprints all over it. Aside from the Dubs' other premier defender, which is Draymond Green, Steve Kerr has nothing but praise for his two hound dogs and gave a special shout out to GP2 in a recent interview about the quality of defense that he brings in every night. Having Gary Payton playing a prominent role has given us two all-world defender to add to the mix. Being labeled as an all-world defender by a Hall of Famer coach speaks volumes to his defensive effort and tenacity. In these following clips, let us expound about Steve Kerr's claim as to why he's an all-world defender in his view, specifically breaking down how he swipes and blocks the leather. In this defensive sequence against the Hornets, GP2 wasn't able to contain the much heftier Miles Bridges during his initial attack. But when Bridges took on Steph, GP2 used the monetary switch in defense to gather himself to time his attempt and swat a shot with authority. To 15 right now for Golden State. In this next clip, the Kings are trying to swing the ball to get some people open in this play right here. After Buddy healed through a pass to Halliburton, GP2 was able to intercept the next pass using his incredible nose for the ball as well as being simply active on his feet. Harrison. Looney out on Buddy Heald, skip pass to Halliburton, and there's... Speaking of steals, GP2 has already tallied 33 steals in 27 games that he appeared in. And although Alex Caruso tops the league in steals with 2.2 a ball game, followed by Gary Trent Jr. and Marcus Smart with 2.1, these steal numbers pale in comparison when you compare it to GP2 steals average of 3.1 a ball game per 36 minutes. Steve Kerr once again pointed out GP2's value to the team in a press conference, and he also talked about what makes him a great teammate, whether he's on the court or off it. He's just a great weapon to have, defensively especially, but he's also hitting his threes this year, so he has worked hard on his shot, dynamic defensively, ready every single night, always cheering everybody on. He's a guy you can play 20 minutes or zero, and he's still got the same energy, the same life. 
He's just a great guy to have on the team, a great teammate. As I've been pounding since the start of the video, GP2 is the type of player who has an incredible motor that consistently remains active whenever he's on the floor. To simply put, he's the type of player that doesn't need the coach to design a play for him. Gary Payton II is a hustler and the man calls his own number. Let me show you what I'm talking about in these succeeding clips. In this play right here, Bielitsa surveys the dubs offensive from the top of the key. When things were about to get stagnant, GP2 had the presence of mind to cut under the rim for an easy layup. Looking to move it. Bielitsa. Threats the knee. When JP3 was having a hard time shaking off his defender in this play, you could see GP2's activeness here once again as he went back door, sliding past the sleeping defense of Jalen Green for a reverse two-hand flush. Well, aside from providing tremendous energy with his non-stop movement, GP2 is a certified crowd drawer as he can give you highlights on both ends of the floor in just one possession. Here's Zach Levine, one of the best scorers in the league right now. But in this sequence, he was matched up with one of the best defenders in the league, and guess what happened? When you take it out of bounds, full court. Is it because, oh, nice steal, there goes Peggy. And a reverse jam at the expense of a two-time slam dunk champion. That's what I call sending a statement. Moving on to our next clip, you can see here that GP2 showed CP3 how to steal the ball as he perfectly anticipated his pass to Cameron Payne, which leads to, you know what. The three-point line, which is a plus 30. Payton the second comes up with a steal, look out! Man, another eye in the sky play coming from the little guy who you would not expect to have so much hops. His old man Gary Payton talked about his son's incredible progress this season, and he even hilariously talked about GP2's unbelievable leaping ability by saying, He's just athletic, man. I was wondering if the mailman came around when I was out of town. Wherever athletic ability came from, I'm just happy you got it. Furthermore, the elder Payton also expounds on what GP2 got from him, most especially on playing defense. He was around me a lot and watched what I was doing. He just has a knack for it with his long arms, good hands, and feet. I used to tell him all the time that if you've got good hands and feet, you can be a good defender. He moves well, and he's very active. On the other hand, here's GP2's response when a reporter asks how he gets his offense going. I'm not as offensively gifted as my dad, so I get steals on defense, which gets my offense going. Aside from the numbers that we've just run down at the beginning of the video, GP2's value for the dubs is highlighted with another figure, this time his PER rating of 21.13 which ranks second in the entire roster only behind Steph Curry's. Whether it's playing hard-nosed defense or finding his own shot on offense, GP2 can give you solid numbers on both ends on limited action. And should the dubs spike his minutes on the floor, I'm pretty sure that he's going to produce numbers way more than what's expected of him. Anyway, there's something else I wanted to point out today, and that's Nikola Jokic. I know he's not on the Warriors or anything, but just like Steph Curry, the man is history in the making, and uh, well, just watch the video right here. The man is nuts, and I actually made this whole video to show y'all how exactly he's doing it. So click the video, guys, and like always, you know where I'll see you on the other side.